and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie episode 2! I am feeling pretty heated right now. Uh, why do you ask? Well, uh, because I just got done with our second level. The recording was pretty much over. We had two jiggies left, nine notes left, and I died. Um, not because of lack of skill, uh, because I had technical difficulties, but those technical difficulties are solved. So. Episode 2, we had just conquered Spiral Mountain and Mumbo Mountain all in one episode, and we are headed towards our first note door. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Well, luckily we are 100%ing the game, so we only needed 50. We had 100. Pretty awesome. Um, I know that seemed a little lenient, but like later in the game, yeah, it's not gonna let you just skimp out on notes. That door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Uh, no. Also. Hello. We're not going to talk to her much. Uh, she's Grunty's sister, actually. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. So that's what it looks like. Uh, Treasure Trove Cove, though. That is the second level. Ooh, yeah. Kinda cool! Alright, so there it is, a giant treasure chest. Um, I'm a huge fan of Treasure Trove Cove, it's a lot of fun. Um, so I don't mind. See, you know what's funny? I actually did a pra- you know, because on my practice run... I don't like stairs much in my lair! They always make me gas for air! She said that while, while we were in the bottles conversation, she interrupted with, or she cut in at the very end with that, and in the bottle's conversation with the, at the 50 note door, she said that, and I was like, what? And we couldn't move or anything, we were still just stuck there. It was very funny. Um, but while I, uh, while I have you here, um, with early viewer retention, I just want to know what everyone's thinking. Are you excited for Banjo-Kazooie? You know, um, I, uh, I know... Oh, hi there. This be Treasure Trove Cove. There be two new moves for ye to find. Um, I know not everyone's gonna comment, and that's okay. Um, though it would be cool to get like 25 comments on this. Everyone's saying, oh yeah, I'm super excited for Banjo. Snacker, whatever. Oh, that's Snacker. I was in the middle of a thought. He was rude and interrupted. Anytime we go in the water, he's gonna chase us down. Period. He sucks. He is what killed us. Because I had technical difficulties, and then Banjo's decided to, like, swim out into the water and get eaten by Snagger. And I'm like, how frustrating. But, tell me what you think. Um, are you super excited? Are you, is it not, uh, is it not? Hey, this nipper speech. You find nothing without nipper's help. Help us, encrustation brain. Urgh, cheeky birdney feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, Shellhead. But, is it too early to decide if you're a fan? Have you played this game before? Raw, you hurt Nipper. Makes me mad. And we crushed him. And in he goes. Let's take the fight to him. After we check behind him. You know, it's funny. It's a kind of a good thing that, you know, uh, there was... The, the original recording got... Uh, cut because I lied about how many mumbo tokens there were like five times. It was pretty funny. Um, it really makes me sad that the first that, that recording got cut because I loved it. It was a lot of fun. I think I think there was good commentary in it. But regardless, we got more good commentary. Now back to that. Um, what do you think about Banjo Kazooie? Have you played it? Have you uh, you know have you are you excited to see this playthrough because you've always wanted to play it? Um, is it too early to decide if you're happy about it? You know what you think already? Um, either way, we're going to 100% this game, um, and I, uh, I, I think I'm going to share this thought, I don't think I did in the last recording, but I think it's just funny, because, like, I think about it sometimes, and I'm like, 
you know, eventually these videos rack up roughly 20 views. I mean, not immediately, it is a slow burn because this is like a playthrough channel. And, you know, the nature of playthrough channels is, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit because if I'm daily uploading, you know, sometimes it's tough to keep up with it all. Um, and I completely understand that. But, um, you know, I think I'm like... You know, when I ask people to comment something simple, and they don't, I'm like... I have this... Like, obviously you're not obligated to comment. I'm not... I'll never, I don't care. I mean, because there, Nolan does. Hey, Nolan. Um, but... Here's our first move of the level. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Just could, could this Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. I don't know what that means. That's how we do it, though. So, let's jump on down here. Me leaky. No good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble? Oh, he needs another one. So we got a poop, uh, poop and egg into him. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. But I always think I'm like, are there people watching this that like, I know this might sound weird, but like, don't want me to know that they're watching it? Cause like, cause like, I'm not thinking like, oh, I'm gonna secretly watch this guy play a video game, you know, but it's more so like, is it like someone, are there people like from my past that are like, eh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna say anything. I think I forgot these last time. So it is a good thing that, you know, I cut, that I cut the recording, because I was... Uh, hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Yeah, screw this guy. Um, but I, I think about that. I'm like, is there someone that's like... Nee, probably not. Um, just because I'd be weird or whatever. And, uh, you know, because I post this on my Snapchat, and I got a... I don't put I don't put a lot of people on my Snapchat, but there are a lot of people that I just straight don't talk to anymore. When I post like, "Hey, I'm doing a YouTube video," I'm like, I wonder what they're thinking, if anything, because you know my Snapchat video, my Snapchat stories get like 20 plus views or so, right around there. Nothing crazy, but the gate opens to reveal your prize. But first, I'll cut you down to size. So this guy's intense. He didn't, he didn't charge us, so he was actually quite easy. Um, he usually does some damage. But yeah. Um, I just th Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes you just think about it. Because you're like, who is watching this? Who is it? You know, where are all these views coming from? Because, you know, I post it in the Discord and I post it on my Snapchat. But I still have 40 subscribers. So I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Also, 40 subs? How about that, man? That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, pretty freaking awesome. So, when you jump on in this guy, right? when you jump on in this guy, when you jump on in this guy, his teeth hurt you. That's what happened there. Woo! Woo! -hoo! Wow. Uh, there's only feathers in this one here. We don't need feathers just yet. we gonna head on over here. And we're going to go ahead and ground pound. Okay, we didn't end up ground pounding. Ground pound for a nice little extra life there. Very nice. Always important to get some extra lives up in here. And we'll head this way. Um, and if this weren't a playthrough, I wouldn't be using Kazooie to make these jumps. I would literally just be doing one of these. Because I'm just I'm confident in my platforming ability in this game. Uh, that's a jump, that's a flying pad rule right there. We can't use those just yet. So let's actually head over this way real quick. Oh, very cool. In my practice playthrough, man, I fell right here like five times. Oh, it was crazy. Yippee, Snacker gets dessert too. His first comment was about dinner, um, so he's following up with that. Uh, the, you know. Every time somebody talks, it is on the screen. So if I am, if I'm not able to read every single line of dialogue, you know, you can, you're still feel free to read it. You know, because they they have their own voices, which is enjoyable. And I try to, I try to go along with their voices as much as possible. But some of them are just really silly, and it's just kind of hard. 
Ah, oh, cheese and crackers. Just wait there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like I said in the last video. Michael Phelps could not swim a shark. Banjo and Kazooie definitely cannot. He will catch up to you, no matter what you do. So, just get out of the water. Up to 40 notes here. Not bad. Not bad. So... Run on up here. 44, not too shabby. You got a backflip to get into these guys. Or They are such a nuisance, though. It's like none of them really have any... One of them has notes in him. He's the only one I feel it's worth going into. The only reason I go into these at all is because I do want to complete the game. 100%. We are doing a 100% playthrough. I know I've already stated that, but I'd like to state it again. This will be a 100% playthrough. Very nice. And you know what? I feel like the cool thing about Banjo-Kazooie is I don't have to have long episodes uh, because there are places where I can stop. You know, I can I can realistically be like, oh, okay, let's go ahead and stop right here. Because uh, there's levels. All right, nice. That's what I'm saying. Very nice. So there's a Jinjo. I don't know if you guys saw him. Up to 51. There's a Jinjo right up here on... Right up there. We'll go ahead and get him just a little bit later. Because I want to swag strats him. Uh, pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff. So this is uh, completely pointless at the moment. Let's go over this way. Oh, we got to swim down to the bottom of this. You think I forgot. Oof! Give me just a moment, please. I would hate to die. Thank you, thank you. Now, let's go ahead and swim on down here. With the Mumbo Tokens, I think that's the one collectible in the game that if I don't get every single one of them, I would be... I would be okay if I didn't. I'm gonna try to. Uh, but no, there are a lot of them that you just straight won't use. Um, there, It's not required to get them all. There's eggs in that chest. But we're looking pretty nice on eggs right now, so I'm going to go ahead and not grab them. Head on this way. Pick up some more notes. Thank you, thank you. Mm, thank you, thank you. Three more notes. That is all the notes we're going to be grabbing from up here. So we can feel free to... Let's do this area, actually. I failed pretty hard on this area during our first recording session. But on my, on my practice session, man, I'll tell you. I was killing it. Killing it. Killing it. There we are. Let me jump on over here. See, you're really not supposed to jump off like that. You're supposed to stay on and then do this. But you can't cover nearly as much... Ugh. See? That's why I don't do it. Because it's awkward and you don't cover as much ground. And you know what? That's what kept happening to me in my practice playthrough. I was trying to... I kept falling and I was like... Mm -hmm. My practice, no, not my practice playthrough, my first recording. I was like, I didn't fall even once in my practice, and that's true. So, let's do it the tried and true way, shall we? That's another Jinjo. Two? Yes, we still got three left. How about that? Um, pardon me? <laughs> pardon me. So, uh, I have Shudder. It's, uh, it's a horror movie streaming site. It's got all the horror movies, man. It's got the classics. It's got some new ones. It's got the new ones. I mean, it's got ones from, like, the 20s, the 30s, all the way on, like, every, every one of them. A bunch of foreign films. I mean, just anything you could ever want. Very awesome. I don't know why I didn't try to jump back on the shock pads, because we still need to be around here. Because there's a G right over here. Uh, I'm actually going to try to swag it over. Ooh, yeah! Sweet. We don't even need to use this thing. I could just... I could just fly over here, but... I like it. It's fun. And they just gave it to us, so we gotta show it off. But Shudder, yeah. Um, and I watched... Oh, God. Cannibal Holocaust yesterday. Um, if you don't know what that is, uh, it's that one notorious movie that was so brutal and so crazy that... It was banned, literally banned from everywhere, just because of how brutal it was. 
and they actually the guy that made it the director was he had the police knock at his door and they tried to put him in prison they they had him in holding until he could prove that the movie was not real because it was so violent and so messed up it was crazy dude and it's 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 not for the faint of heart it's not even for it's not even for oh hey there ivy blubber's treasure it, 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 it's insane. It has a lot of death. It has a lot of grisly acts. I just see how Banjo was like pushing his body forward and jumping like that. It was very funny. Um, a lot of grisly events. It's about um, like indigenous, an indigenous tribe, two of them, and they're like people know that they're there and all this, and like they know their tribes like fight and stuff. And there's these, like, four kids, or five young people, not kids. Young people, this is in the 70s, by the way. Um, so you know how, like, people were just not accepting in the slightest back then. You know, 60s, 70s, 80s. I mean, that was even prior to that, but we don't talk about that. Even, you know, just people were just mean, cold-hearted, brutal. Um, well, they seemed just like, it opened up the movie and they were like, oh, the kids are dead. And I'm like, what a stupid, stupid way to start the movie. The main characters are dead. Um, but it turned out, if you can get past, like, the sh just sheer brutality of that movie, it was kind of cool how it was presented, really. I mean, you don't see movies like that. Also, Banjo, what are you doing? Literally, in my practice playthrough, he threw them both at, like, rapid succession. Mr. Asher, please thank you, me hearties, take this reward. I'm off to spin, spin, spin. Yeah, uh, if you've heard, you've probably heard of it. It's one of the most notorious movies of all time. For good reason. I mean, it was wild. Wild. Oh, we already grabbed that? Okay. Yep. And me and, uh, me and Allie watched it yesterday, and I... I can't believe she made it through it, man. Because <laughs> me, the guy that is unbothered by everything on the planet, you cannot phase me, and I was like... Wow, <laughs> this is intense. This is your big, this is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time to fly. At last, it better be easy, bottle boy. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Nice going, you learned all the moves in Treasure Trove. That's what he was like. I already knew what he said. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to skip past it. This is my third time playing it within the last hour, so... To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one, but remember that Beaky can only carry 50 of them. Please don't fall. This be Gruntilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. Okay, don't mind if I do. Got him. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. There's freaking Snacker. Alright, we are gonna not be able to... Ooh! Coffee and mints. I'll be right over. Very cool. We then just, uh, snuck that treasure. Pretty sweet. We're going to go ahead and go through here. Finally start using the flying power-up. That's cool. We're going to use this a lot, a lot throughout the game. So, be excited. I know I am. I'm, uh... Um, I'm okay with it. I think, uh, it's no big deal. I mean, it's just flying. It is it is utilized quite well. Quite a bit as well. So, you know, I was trying to be swaggy and tried to go the other way. Okay, so I just straight up can't find him. There he is. So I was being swaggy. Look, nice snacks for you're dead. Yeah. So. Hey yo. Very nice. Very nice. So we're missing one Jinjo, and we already know where he's at. So we know where that last Jiggy for or last Jinjo is for the Jiggy. Jump up here. 
jump up here. Jump up here. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Jump up here. 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 Go around the back. I'll tell you what. There's the Gruntilda switch for the level. Like I said, there will be ten jiggies in Gruntilda's lair. So, yep. Very cool. A mumbo token. So there are ten total in this level. Not too bad. And we found them all. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. You know, I climbed up here. I didn't even grab this um, in the recording. I did my practice run, of course, but I didn't end up doing it in the recording. How silly. Um, so, really, it is a good thing that we ended up having to redo this one because I got to talk about... I got to talk again, you know. Um, I, I'm excited to play Banjo... Um, what's it? Tui? I'm really excited to play Banjo-Tooie, and I hope you guys are uh, excited as well. Um, I know, I know we just started Banjo-Kazooie, but, you know, I just, I'm just... What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough. If we just wouldn't have collected the hundredth note, I would have freaked out, dude. I would have been so upset right now. Oh, you best believe I was really upset when I died that first time, um, because we were at like no we were at like 91 notes, man. I was missing. I don't think I was ended up missing. No, I wasn't missing any because I always forget right there on that walk, right there when we were walking up that. Yeah, but look at this. Four. We have to collect them all again. Uh, but our note score is 100. But as you can see, when we walked into that little cave area, there was one. We were walking up the lighthouse, there was actually three on that ledge. I thought there was two for some reason. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. I guess we're looking for gold. Let's go. Don't tell me I have to collect all the gingos again. I will, but I don't want to. You know I don't want to, because this was supposed to be swaggy. Watch this. Are you kidding me? That sucks. Okay. So we'll do all that as the final ginger. As the final jiggy. Let's go up here. Very cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't think there's a time limit on this, but who's to say? I've never really sat around and wasted enough time to figure out. Uh, the gingos are all pretty pretty easy to get, so we don't really have to worry about it. This is a pretty short jiggy, but it's a pretty cool jiggy. I'm a big fan. Uh, also, sorry I died on camera. I did not want to, but if I had to record this a fourth time, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have anything to talk about. Or a third time played a fourth time, I wouldn't have anything to talk about. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't be having very much fun at that point. And you know what? I feel like this is kind of cliche to say, but I feel like I, I, I'm. A, I would like to enjoy myself, you know, playing this because it is a fun game, and I want. Ha! Oh, you'll never find me now. Because there was a little uh, question mark there. But the X is just right here. And we'll do that. And it'll come out. Yikes. Please open me gently. Open you gently. That's nine. Cool. Now, I'll tell you what. We are going to go ahead and collect all these gingos real fast. And I know what you're thinking. What about the empty honeycomb pieces? Well, don't worry. I, uh, I think, I think in each video that's going to be the final thing we collect. And this level is no different. I do know where they all are at. Don't worry. I'm going to make sure that we collect every single one in the game. I don't want you at all to worry if we are going to get every single honeycomb piece or not, because we will be doing that. I, I think it's very important that we... I, I think it's very important that we keep that collectible in mind as well. Also, I was sort of expecting to fall in the water when I jumped there, so if you're asking, like, why'd you jump? That was so high. Well, one, I didn't think the fall would have killed me, and also, I figured I was going to land in the water there, and I definitely did not. So, that was a uh, certainly my bad. Um, I don't think anyone's too worried about it. Uh, I know I am. I definitely... It makes me feel really bad that I died, but I am playing Nintendo 64 version for a reason. 
I want it to uh, I want it to show off how the game was actually meant to be played. Um, I feel like this is a pretty lag-free experience as well. I, I'm afraid if I played it on Xbox, it might lag a little bit, um, or at least do the whole green refresh thing. If you watch the latest fire, uh, the recent videos, not the older ones, because the older ones are just bad about it. Um, um, then you know what I'm talking about. But, um, yep. Jinjo! There it is! How about that? How about that? That is all ten for this level. Slide down here nice and, uh, nice and gently. Do not die. That was actually really well, huh? So let's go ahead over here. Over where Nipper is, you see Nipper. Um, if there's anyone playing along for whatever reason, I think that would be super cool, and I appreciate you. Um, like I said, it is on Game Pass, so if you wanted to, I am detailing it in a way where you could just follow it. Mm, lovely. The uh, golden honeycomb piece is right there in that corner. Tell me if you end up playing along. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I, of course, I'm not expecting anyone to because that's why you're playing. That's why you're watching this, is so you don't have to play it. Um, that's at least why I personally watch playthroughs of games. It's because I'm usually playing a game and I'm like, I can't play two at once. So I watch somebody else play it. Or I'm like, I don't have the money for that game. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to watch someone else play it. So, pretty cool. Now, hold on a second. That's a one-up. I was under the impression that that's where the other honeycomb was. So, I mean, all is not lost. It's on, it's floating on a box out here. There it is. I was going to say, I was like, it's floating on a box. I know that for a fact. I just, for some reason, I thought that was the box. No, it was this one. Now, I know this is where you guys would think, okay, he's going to wrap it up. Well, I, I, you, pro you guys probably uh, figured that I was going to be wrapping it up um, when we grabbed the Gruntilda Lair one, but did you thought, maybe thought this where I was wrapping up the level, but we actually have one more thing to do, and it's actually a super cool one. Oh, shoot. Okay, come on. What's happening? What is happening? Am I stupid? Oh, <sighs> wow! This has been a this has been a rough one. I hope you guys uh, I hope you guys aren't too upset with the uh, um, quality of this video because I really I wanted this I wanted this playthrough to be very professional and I wanted it to be you know uh, almost walkthrough style ish. Um, but I, I goofed there and I I apologize that this that this level's been a little bit uh, a little bit shaky. But just just know that I am I am being mindful of it, and you know I, I'm trying my best. So there's a a pretty awesome thing that can happen in here. I know I said that we would be coming back here. I don't know if I said that in this recording or not. But yes, we're gonna be coming back here a lot for uh, cheats. Um, there are cheats throughout the game. We're not going to use them a whole lot, but they are in the game, and it is super cool. So we're actually going to put we're actually going to put one in right now. So C H E A T O U T. I, I swear to God, if that messed it up and I have to type this in again, we're going to do it in another episode. T. H. E. S. E. A.
I T R I S E S T O R E V A E sorry A L M O R E S E C R E T P R I Z E S So it didn't work. Cheat out of the sea, it rises to reveal more secret prizes. So, the idea of what was supposed to happen there is that was supposed to rise out of the water and we were supposed to go walk inside of it. We will be doing that next episode, actually. And we will probably be obtaining this jiggy here in the next episode as well. Actually, hold on. Are we? Alright, I want to thank you all for coming out to Banjo-Kazooie. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for coming out to episode 2.